Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at DevNexus talking to members of the Java community. And I have the honor of talking to Freddie Gomez. Is that right? Yeah, like, give me money. Give me, give me money. <laughs> oh, I can tell. This guy works with options and trading, so you can <laughs> see what this is all about. So you are Director of Client Technology at Option City Software. Mm -hmm. So it's all about show me the money and fast, like good performance. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, like um, every time you connect to like an exchange or, you know, like New York Stock Exchange or the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, you get all this information. And then my job is to almost like bring from the fire hose and get all the information and figure out how to display in a way that makes sense. Oh, cool. That's really interesting. So in addition to doing that, you are the leader of the Chicago Java, Java user, user group, group. Yeah. CJUG. I know you guys are active and doing well. Oh, Props uh, to you guys. Kudos. Yes, <laughs> and he's also the uh, author of the javapubhouse.com, which is a great podcast. So if you haven't checked it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, um, <coughs> that's a, a podcast that we do, like we cover it's essentially a technical podcast, so okay, we cover right. like, you know, like even today we're going to talk a little bit about memory leaks, you know, we cover those on the podcast, there's other stuff about like, you know, multi-threading and doing thread pool executors and all this crazy like, you know, quite high performance stuff and now with, with uh, a friend of ours, uh, Bob Pollen, we're doing more of like, you know, microservices and just covering other things. Everything so. all over. So it's jabapubhouse.com, yeah. so mm -hmm. check that out. And you're also f one of the founding members of the Null Pointers. Oh, yes. Yeah, which is this excellent band. If you ever get a <laughs> chance to see them, I've got a feeling they're going to be in San Francisco playing at Java One, right? We, we're, we're trying our hardest to be there. <laughs> Rock on. They are just excellent and they're developing. No, I never go home. Thank you. <laughs> right on. Okay, so Freddie, I wanted, you had this really great session about um, memory and Java memory leaks. I heard out in the hall, people really enjoyed it. Oh, that's they got, cool. They got a lot out of it. So can you tell me, like, what's the most common cause of memory leaks? So it's, it's one of those things, and, and I was sharing this story with, with the crowd, like, I was yesterday, we were, or the day before yesterday, we were talking to, like, a C++, um, you know, engineer, and you know, he was, we're talking, he's a speaker, and then I was like, I'm gonna talk about memory leaks. And he's like, memory leaks? You guys are Java, you guys are managed language. What do you mean memory oh, leaks? Oh, yeah, yeah, GC just does it all. You don't have to worry about it, oh, right? Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm like, uh, well, in reality is that um, the memory leaks that we have to talk about, they're not like malloc, dialogs, you know, like that your C++ leaks. What happens is that we sometimes forget to release things. <laughs> and unintentional <laughs> <laughs> unreleased <laughs> objects, right? Yes. yes. So, so then what happens is, for example, let's say that you have, you know, you have a very long process and you're like collecting information on a map, right? And you keep adding things on a map for collect, you're collecting some session stats, but you never really evicted it from the map. You know, you keep adding new things, right, right. but you never really remove anything. And then what happens is, is sometimes you don't need that information, you know, after like a whole day, let's say you, a day goes by and then you can say, you know what, I'm done crushing all the numbers, I can get rid of this stuff that I have on my map, uh, but you never do. So then what happens is when the garbage collector goes around and tries to take that memory back, it right. says, I'm still using it. So, so he doesn't know better, the garbage collector doesn't know better. So you end up just having this essentially um, memory leaks where things that you think you're done with but you never told, essentially, you never remove them from where you were putting them. Ah, okay, so they're not released. They're never, they're never released, and then th that's where your leaks happen. That's the biggest cause of, of memory leaks. Okay, so how, you, how can you figure out that this is going on with your code? So, I mean, uh, usually memory leaks happen because your application run out of memory, so, so, or, or you're, you're aware that, that a leak is happening. Right. So th the first thing that happens is like you see that there's the memory consumption is going high and you're like trying to figure out what's going on. Um, <laughs> you, the tools will alert you, you're consuming too much memory and that's when you essentially open your toolbox and then start like figuring out, I'm going to use Visual VM, you know, it comes with the JDK, so. Right. Uh, yeah, so right. That's, that's a great tool, you know, it's, uh, since it's there, you can just double click on it, connect to the process that you want to and then you sort of like start using that tool to figure out what's going on, where is my leak? Mm -hmm. um, 
And, and uh, just navigating with that, will that's one of the parts that we did on the session. Hopefully, they'll put it online sometime. Um, they'll, then you get to see like how we use the tool. We walked through like actually a couple of examples of, uh, of a memory leak in, in the session to just show you how to use the tool, how to find it, and how to fix it. Great. So, so Visual VM, it comes free with Java. Yes. It's easy to bring up, mm -hmm. and it's a very powerful tool, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it, 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 that's its job. I mean, it is it's when... When you were just trying to find out, and what happens is, it usually happens in a panic. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> like, and, and nobody is like, oh, we have a memory leak. We will deal with it like next month. No, it's <laughs> most of the time is, oh gosh, our server crashed. We need to put it back up, and we have to make sure it doesn't crash again. Right, right. So, so then you're trying to figure out. So pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, pressure's on, and um, and you know, just having the tool there, you say JVisual VM, connect to it. Get the get the heap dump, and then you can actually with the heap dump you can actually figure out exactly where your memory leak is. Ah, cool. That's great. So mm -hmm. thanks for coming by. I'm glad you gave us more information, so mm -hmm. you can look for Freddie's um, presentation on the Dev Nexus site. Yeah. Soonish, mm -hmm. we hope, and you can also get Visual VM information directly from Oracle. So thanks for coming by. It's great to talk to you. It's always to to delightful you. to see you. And oh, way to go with the Chicago jug and. We'll be looking forward to hearing more from you. We'll rock on, right? Excellent. Rock on. <laughs> We're going to rock on. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. Thank you.